if you see this, like I'm moving the ICO slider and it's not fluid when I'm doing this, this is because there's something else we need to talk about on the Genesis figure. It is actually less high resolution than it currently appears. And this is an important concept to understand because there's the base geometry, which is literally the vertices. If you look at the wireframe data here, these are the individual faces. There anything that's kind of black overdrawn here. These are the actual polygons that make up the figure. But you also have these little gray lines here. And those are what we call implied polygons. And this is geometry that is applied on the fly to make the character look more high res. And that's a good way of making something smoother than it really is. It also means you're saving a lot of storage space and processing power because you can just deal with the base resolution. But with the subdivision on, it means my computer needs to work four times as hard as it would if that is switched off. So let me show you where that is. With objects that have it enabled, you head over once again to the All Important Parameters tab and then head over here to General under Mesh Resolution. And this is currently set to high resolution. This is something that while I work, I like to turn this to base resolution only because the end result in high resolution isn't going to be important for me while I work. So I'll go and switch this to base and you'll see that the ears get a little bit chunky there. If I switch between this, this is high resolution and this is base resolution. You see, especially ears get a bit chunky, but we also lose these black lines that we had here. That is, you know, where that resolution would be just drawn on that you know what's implied and what's real. On the Genesis 8.0 character, by default, we have this enabled, high resolution. On the 8.1 figure, which is kind of the, the updated version of Genesis 8, which is backwards compatible with Genesis 8.0, we have subdivision resolution level that is cranked up to two to just imply more polygons. So this is what a Genesis 8.1 character will look like. And see that there's all of a sudden we have 16 additional polygons where there was only one before. And this now means that if I crank up a slider and move it, my computer is going to be working 16 times as hard as in the base resolution. So if you fiddle with sliders and you think my computer is too slow, it's not really that. It's just that Das Studio is applying more resolution than you need while you work. So in order to switch this back, select the object or the figure under parameters, mesh resolution, and then under resolution level, set this to base. I find I do this a lot, switching between resolutions. And I'm doing this so much so that I've actually bought a product by 3D Universe that's called Scene Tools. The three parts of it. I believe they're currently on sale and they are nice because they give you additional toolbars here. This is what I like using and I just wanted to mention that because this kind of rounds out my tour of the interface before we get to working with these characters and putting a portrait together. And um, that is something that I enable and usually that is found, I believe, under utilities. Yeah, there we go. With that filter button disabled. I'll explain more of that later. So these are the ones here. Scene tools uh, set one, two and three. And I like because they have all kinds of different little things that you can kick off as scripts. All these scripts can also be docked up into the tool palette. So if I go and double click this, then I have this additional toolbar here. And that is usually what I like doing because one of them that comes with the scene tool set one, I recommend all three, but if you want to just, you know, have a look at it, scene tool set one has this super important icon up here that switches my, all my characters and clothing in the scene from high res to base res. So if I go and uh, just do this again under mesh resolution, so by default it's set to high, and this is more and more important than ever with the 8.1 characters, which have so much subdivision applied that it's, it's just difficult for my computer to handle. If I go and add something else parented to the character, if I click this icon, then it'll take a moment and that script will just take care of making everything base rest, letting me know that as well with that little red dot.